Hello Pisces, welcome to your love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Pisces, in this reading we'll be focusing on your new person, so it might be someone with whom you are currently in touch with, you are interested in this person or you might be dealt, da dating this individual. Uh, for some of you it might be about your current connection or relationship, so please take it how it resonates. And of course Pisces, if you don't have your special person, Please take this reading as a prediction. Okay, so let's see. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. What do we have for you? Okay. You might be dealing with Sagittarius. Sagittarius had the same energy boundaries. Okay. So Pisces, we are connecting this reading for you with someone who might have been introduced to you by your friends or their friends, or you have like a group of friends, uh, common group of, group of friends, okay? <laughs> I, for some of you, it might be a case that you just, you know, you know this person's uh, people from their close related environment or they know from yours, okay? For some of you, this is a friend. This is a friend who... Um, feels very very lucky to have you in their life if it's not a friend this person feels very lucky to that they had an opportunity to meet you there is something here about clarity I feel that this person wants to make a significant move in order to to kind of make their intentions clear clearer for, to you also we have boundaries uh, at the moment though this person might be holding back with the time alone uh, for some of you, it's like you haven't been in touch with this person for two days or maybe two weeks. At the moment, it's like, you know, there is no contact. Maybe you're dealing here with someone who is an introvert and they like their own space. But I'm not seeing here uh, when it comes to this energy that a, a lot is going on at the moment between the two of you. Could you please show me more? The Empress, Strength, Six of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Two of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Three of Cups, okay, Justice at the bottom of the deck. So you might be dealing with Libra. We have Leo, we have Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, so far in this reading for you. The Empress, Strength, Six of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. This is someone here who sees you as a person who is very intelligent. It feels like they have many topics, you know, to talk about with you. It's not like a surface level situation. There is so much more. And I feel that this person really liked this. Really, yes, they really like it. The Empress with the strength. You might be dealing with divine feminine or you are divine feminine, but someone here is holding back. They being very nice, very diplomatic about this whole situation, but they are holding back at the same time. They do this person has attraction and passion for you big time. With the six of pentacles. And there is something here about this person be, being very selective with their time, attention and affection. Uh, but uh, for some of you, you might be feeling like at the moment this person is reaching out to you or it just kind of seems like this. You might get that impression. You might be getting that, is, that impression, Pisces, that they are reaching out only when it's convenient for them. That there is, it's like there is a lack of consistency when it comes to that sort of kind of a action from this person's side. And I feel that you really want them to, to put more effort, essentially. We have two of swords. Yeah, it's like they are holding back here. Queen of pentacles, eight of wands and three of cups. Three of cups suggests, Pisces, that indeed for some of you, that might be a friend. Or it's like your friends know them 
or they friends know you. Group of friends, more people are involved in that situation. For some of you, you receive some sort of kind of a invitation uh, to, to a party or event or gathering where friends will be there and this person will be there as well with the Eight of Wands. Um, there will be a communication. Communication here is showing up for you when it comes to this person. And when this communication will take place, I see this person being very attentive, actually, and quite generous with their time uh, regarding this, this, this. Uh... Yes, between the two of you. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone here who sees your value, you know, that you bring a lot to the table. You have so much to offer. You are a catch. Justice. But there is a need for that clarity. Yeah, I feel this person really wants to come forward and kind of, you know, make themselves clear about intentions or that they are truly interested because it feels like they are. But they are giving you mixed signals here. And at the end of the day, I might feel like I don't know how to feel about the situation. Does this person want, want this connection or not? Mm -hmm. Could you please... You might be dealing indeed with Sagittarius. Uh, could you please show me this person's feelings towards Pisces? We have a hermit. We are dealing here with the thinker. They think a lot. King of Wands. Five of Cups. Page of Pentacles. A Pisces, this is someone who indeed it's like they are not giving much in a sense of it's very difficult to read this person. They might quite, with the Hermit, you know, they might like their own company. Mm, this is someone here th who thinks a lot. It's like I feel in general. Maybe they like philosophy or psychology, something like this. They might be interested in those mm. schools of thought, right? Uh, you might be dealing here with Virgo. At the end of the day, this is someone here who sees potential when it comes to this connection. Um, but there is something here about them being stuck in some sort of kind of past with the five of cups. It's like this person, I feel you're dealing here with someone who can be quite pessimistic. They, there is something here about them being quite um, ambitious. They can be charismatic, I feel, with this king of wands. And when this person, you know, wants to say something, it makes sense but they are trying to figure out certain i feel this person i feel that they know exactly what they want to do but they are still trying to figure out and i'm going to be honest with you if they are 100 percent ready to be fully invested emotionally in this connection i'm getting here that they and it might be sounding kind of contradictory or you know you can correct me in the comment section below regarding that that um that word <laughs> but um what i am getting here pisces is that they do want to make themselves clear about about their intentions regarding this connection but when it comes to emotional level they're still trying to figure out certain things that's what they're showing me could you please show me this person's actions towards pisces We have the Hanged Man. You might be dealing with another Pisces. Okay. Ten of Swords. Seven of Wands. The World. 
Oh, okay. And we have High Priestess. They're holding back. We have strong Pisces, strong Cancerian energy. You might be also dealing Pisces with Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. The hangman, it's like, you know, it is a pause. It's, yeah, it's holding back, but at the same time, it's like trying to look at the situation from a different perspective. We have Ten of Swords. There is something here about this person feeling really defeated at the moment. Maybe they don't have enough, you know, strength. Uh, maybe something drained them, you know, was very draining or had that kind of impact on them. And it feels like this person really, there is something here about them taking break, break, or it's like this person needs more sleep, you know, because I see someone who is drained, who is tired, who is exhausted. Seven of Wands, yes, yeah, still holding back the world, but they feel unfinished business, so it's not like it's over. But so, for instance, Pisces, if you feel that this person is ignoring you, oh, it's like, they are not taking any significant action. They are not sending me any messages, anything of this kind. Um, please be aware that this person now is in a space where they need to just um, rejuvenate or like um, they are taking step back in order to recharge their batteries. High Priestess, yeah, it's like... There is, high Priestess represents silence. That it's, high Priestess is that intuition, inner knowing, you know? So for instance, we know something, but we are, we are keeping it for ourselves. And in this case, I feel that this person in the near future, week to weeks, I don't see you seeing much of an action from their side. That's what I'm getting. It might be a case that they, you will receive an invitation to go somewhere with your friends and they will be there and they will be chatty with you but when it comes to them reaching out in the immediate future it, this is very passive energy very passive energy oh it's like they will be in touch but they might not be you know it's someone here it's very kind of like exhausted sleep, you see the expressions on on those uh, on those faces. This person is giving me a mix mix energy because I see here we have this eight of wands, action, communication, and things like this. But then it's like it's this person is very. Um, it's like when you feel that they are taking step forward at the same time it feels like they are taking to step back it's like it, when you suddenly feel that there is a progress then this person immediately will kind of you know metaphorically saying in the brackets reassure you that actually it's not that much of a progress <sighs> yeah it's oh gosh I am a bit drained when I read this energy Pisces they are very interested that's the thing but maybe currently they are just tired and they need to recharge those batteries you know maybe something happened maybe this person was very busy or they had a lot on the plate show me the outcome please of cups at the bottom of the deck so we have the devil card uh, three of wands indeed king of swords two of cups at the bottom of the deck as an overall energy for this reading well it feels that both of you feels this connection this person has feelings for you it's not that they are unbothered no, 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 they care. And Two of Cups suggests that this connection can work out. That it is very likely that within time, both of you will become much, much closer to each other and actually you can be in a relationship. 
you might be dealing with Aquarius. There is something here about confusion regarding communication. I'm seeing this person holding back. It's so confusing. It's quite frustrating because I feel that once they will be very um, wanting to talk, you know, quite um, enthusiastic about being in touch with you. But then I feel like this person is really holding back. It's a confu This is someone who, when it comes to the outcome for the near future, immediate future with this energy, I feel that you might feel a little bit frustrated about, you know, the dynamic that they are bringing to this connection. There is something here about confusion and kind of frustration surrounding communication with this person, but that, you know, it, that will, that shall pass, you know, because two of cups suggests that this connection within time can evolve into something really, really nice actually in a relationship, but they are holding back here. Nevertheless, Pisces, this person, uh, they care about you. You know, they have feelings for you. But it might be a little bit frustrating because this is someone who is giving you mixed signals. And it feels like this energy will continue uh, for at least two week or two weeks. Okay. But it can work out. And it feels for some of you... It, there is a big possibility that you will be in a relationship with this person. Pisces. Gosh. Pisces, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Pisces, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I am sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.